In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pagination to your DV blog module. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to create your blog post. So I've already gone ahead and created my blog post. Next, we need to create our page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. Let's give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this our blog and then click on use Divi Builder. Next, I'm going to come over here and choose my pre-made layout. So I'm going to search for a specific one and this is the flooring layout pack and then I'm going to select it. So the one we need here is the blog. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and use this layout. So we are going to scroll down here until we get to our blog post. I'm going to click on this gear icon. So you want to scroll down until you get to elements and then make sure short pagination is set to yes. So here is our pagination text. Now, ideally we'd like to go in and also customize this. So let's head over here to the design tab and then come over here to pagination text. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to make sure everything is set to bold. And I also need this underlined and we're also going to add our color by clicking over here and pasting our color like that. Now let's move on to the text size. Now make sure over here you set this to 20%. And while we're here, let's go head over now to the tablet because we need this to look great on all devices. So here on the tablet, you want to make sure this is set to 18 pixels and on the phone, we need it to be 16 pixels. Now there's also another alternative of how we can style this. So let's start by adding our underlined color. So making sure you have underline selected. I'm going to come over here and paste my color like that. So now you can see my underlying color here is changed. Now let's change our size. So I'm going to scroll down here and set this to 22. And I'm also going to add some letter spacing and set this to two pixels. For our line height, I'm going to set this to 1.7. And then I'm also going to add my font color here. Click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Now there's one more thing we need to do over here and that is to make this all caps and then we're going to save. Now let's take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.